Hello everyone, Edge here. Uh, we're going uh, to update the ViewSonic G-Tab that was currently running TNT Lite 2.1.0 up to 2.2.0. Now I know I've probably shown this a few times. Um, for those of you who've seen how Clockwork Mod works, you probably want to fast forward uh, or go a little bit ahead uh, a bit. But I want to go through it with a little bit more detail, a little bit more, uh, a little, little slower for folks who are having questions. So, first of all, um, normally what I would do, let's assume that I was doing this for the first time, is the very first thing I would do would be to wipe the cache and to wipe the data and do a factory reset. Um, it's typically a good idea when you're going from the stock TNT that the device comes with and you're going to be putting on one of these other images. Now, of course, that's assuming Clockwork Mod is already on there. Clockwork Mod is pretty easy to install. Um, there are instructions on the xda-developers.com forums on how to install Clockwork Mod on any Android device and what the prerequisites are. Um, I don't want to go into that because that would mean wiping out my entire device and I actually have data and stuff on here and ways to kind of restore things quickly if I bork anything. And um, as much as I really do enjoy making the videos and I really enjoy helping people, um, I don't want to run the risk of messing up Clockwork Mod because I've got it working and and it's it's uh, it's perfect right now. So I do apologize for that. Uh, um, now, what I've done is I've taken the the image that Robeat made that he posted in his thread and I basically uh, connected my device through via USB to the computer to my Windows uh, 7 PC and I copied the update.zip over onto the the G tab so what I'm gonna do now is using the up and down volume keys is I'm gonna go to in install zip from SD card you use the home button over here to select. Now I'm going to choose zip from SD card. And there it is, update.zip. Again, selecting is with the home key. And we're going to confirm the install. And I will say, go for it. Now, this is TNT Lite 2.20. And this is, according to Robeat, a major update, so uh, it will pretty much replace everything. Now, I will say that in the past, the in the 2.1.0 that I had running, it was super fast. The Gmail and Google Apps worked perfectly. Exchange worked perfectly. Flash was very responsive and fast. Rock Player played really well. Um, everything else, contacts worked great. Everything else I did in there was 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 awesome. Now the only two cave caveats to that were there were forced closes if you closed your settings, which I know annoyed a lot of people. And quite frankly, it's annoying to see any forced closes because it makes you think uh, that your device isn't as stable as perhaps. It could be or should be. And the other thing, and it, I'll interrupt myself here, it says uh, it's done. Um, so let's reboot. So, and the other thing is that when you would be in market or anywhere where you had a white screen, you would notice some weird little lines of it, you can tell that there was something not quite right with the rendering that was going on so um, allegedly that's something that has, is fixed now the performance should be great we'll still have to do the ha uh, the marketplace hack um, which this is amazing okay now I'm gonna have to check something here because I want to make sure that I actually did flash this properly because now I didn't clear my data or my cache I saw online on XDA developers that you didn't necessarily have to do that. So let's make sure that I'm actually on a new image. So the way we'll do that is we'll go to uh, settings. This is promising actually that it's taken this 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 amount of time because that tells me that it's probably coming in for the for one of the first times. All right. Um, 
Let's take a look at about tablet. There it is, TNT Lite 2.2.0. So, we are on the right image. Now here's the big test, we go to home, and no force close, beautiful. Let's check this, check my calendar. Look at this, folks. I am happy, all my meetings and appointments are here. Looks like I have a very busy week next week. All right, back to home. Look at my Gmail, and yep, it's all here if I open up Gmail, show pictures. Yep, it's still just as nice. Now, uh, yeah, that's still zippy. Still feels very responsive. Uh, let's check the marketplace. Will I have to rehack? No, I didn't have to rehack this. Look at that. We'll install Evernote here just to see how fast it goes. I am blown away. That is really cool. That makes it super, super easy. Okay, it says it's installing Evernote. And it's installed, so there you go. Yep, and there's where I can put in my username and password. Outstanding. All right. Um, the important things for me, does Pulse work? Yes, Pulse works. Does Rock Player still play smoothly? I'm going to just buy this. I'm tired of that screen. <laughs> and I use it so often that it's worth it. Yep, it's still just as responsive and and quick. Outstanding. All right, and here's an MOV. Granted, it's not really the cleanest copy, but plays it just fine. And now let's check out YouTube. YouTube. Yep, so it's working fine too. All right, good deal. I am very pleased with that. Now let's run a quadrant. Because as we all know, that's how we check just how awesome the hardware is here. It's also a good way to benchmark how how much we've went forward or back. The highest score I've ever received on my device was a 2480. That was running uh, 2.00 with the experimental Tegra drivers that at the time were the, the freshest thing to come out. But there were some, I guess, questions or issues with stability. So uh, Robeat has addressed those and worked with them. And uh, with the help of Beekit and Rothnik and some other folks, uh, um, they really have made this an amazing device. I use it all the time. I use it for work. I use it for play. I just took my uh, daughter for a uh, medical appointment, and you know, I, I normally hate going to the doctor's office for any reason, but sitting there, this made it very palatable. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's see how we did. 2448. 2448. I can live with that. That's very fast. Very nice indeed. Pretty slick. So, there you have it. Um, this is TNT Lite 2.20. Um, well, you know what? Let's check uh, the radio, see how that works. Because I know yesterday I had some problems trying to play K Rock a little bit later. And there we go. No problem today. So, for whatever reason, um, on 2.1.0, Zero. K Rock didn't want to play on 2.20, plays just fine. Right on. So, I don't know if there's anything else on here that anybody would be really interested in seeing.
camera I think some people are always interested in. Now, one thing that I, um, again, I apologize for my parents. I know, it's kind of scary. Um, yesterday, if I pressed right here, it forced closed the camera. It doesn't force close that now. So it's uh, loading up the new albums and photos, apparently. So apparently I learned from the comments, and again, thank you for all the comments, everyone. I do read them, and I try to... Uh, I've got a list of videos I'll be making to help uh, some of the other folks understand and... Uh, and maybe get some more information about the G tablet either before you buy it or before you uh, apply Clockwork Mod. But somebody mentioned to me that this was the the default um, gallery that comes with uh, Android. But what's funny is apparently because the the G sensors in here are kind of not the way that Android expects them to be. This is assuming that it's bent or or sideways somehow. But I never knew how it was supposed to be. So for me, it's kind of normal to have it this way. And I think I, I always thought it was kind of a neat touch um, <laughs> to go through your pictures like this. But that's why I'm sitting here playing with them while I talk. But, you know, viewing your videos, pretty cool. And, and it's it's much faster now going through the, the videos. One of my favorite pictures right there. Kirk and Spock eating off paper plates, even on the Enterprise. You know, they... Still use paper plates, I guess. No, I know that's not true. Um, well, I guess that's really it. I kind of went through the major features here. Uh, like I said, I have been reading the comments, so I will be going through some of the uh, comments there and try to put together some different videos that are that are helpful to folks who've asked some more specific questions. Um, but anyway, I hope this video in some way either helped uh, to either show you how amazing this device is now with the latest firmwares, how much more stable it is, and how much better it runs. Thanks again for viewing the videos. Keep on watching, and I'll keep on making them. Edge out.